Hi everyone. Welcome back another video for MRCS exam. This is the question and answer session. And question and answer session provides you a lot for preparing yourself for MRCS exam. So here the question which of the following pairing of the foramina and their content is not correct. So it is one of the direct question and here uh, we have to find out that which is not correct that means through which formula the structure passes is not true here the answer options the options are superior orbital fissure and oculomotor nerve foramen rotundum and maxillary nerve jugular foramen and hypoglossal nerve foramen spinosum and medial meningeal artery carotid canal and internal carotid artery so now we have to see the foramen this foramen in the skull face then we have to know about the content of this foramen then it will be easy for us to answer the question so here we can see this is the superior orbital fissure here a fissure present just below this is the laser wing of the spinoid bone and just below the laser wing of the spinoid bone there is a fissure and this fissure is known as the superior orbital fissure here we can see this is the superior orbital fissure so now see the structure passes through the superior orbital fissure here we can see this is the ophthalmic artery ophthalmic nerve sorry ophthalmic nerve then cranial nerve three four six this is the cranial nerve 3 3 is the oculomotor nerve 4 is the trochlear nerve and 6 is abducens so oculomotor uh, trochlear and abducens and 5 this is the 5 bone that means the trigeminal nerve it presents three branches ophthalmic maxillary mandibular and the first one this is the ophthalmic nerve passes through the superior orbital fissure so it is very easy that uh, the serially 3 4 5 and 6 nerve six cranial nerve passes through the superior orbital fissure among them in case of five fifth cranial nerve this is the trigeminal nerve uh, it's only one uh, first branch this is the ophthalmic nerve passes through this so through the superior orbital fissure this is structure passes and we can see some other structures such as the superior uh, ophthalmic vein also passes through here and we can see the lacrimal frontal trochlear they use actually they are branch from this structure and in the second picture here we can see the jugular foramen here jugular foramen it presents um, in the base of the skull and the posterior part just lateral to the foramen magnum and we can see through the hypoglossal canal the important nerve passes cranial nerve 9 10 and 11 and we saw here that the superior orbital fissure their number was 3 4 5 6 3 4 actually 5 1 and 6 then here we can see 9 10 and 11 so it is easy to remember 9 and uh, this is the glossopharyngeal 10 vagus and is uh, 11 spinal accessory so the serially 3 nerve passes through the jugular foramen with the internal jugular vein which is continuation of the sigmoid bone vein sinus or sigmoid vein or sigmoid sinus so through the jugular foramen the structure passes cranial nerve 9 glossopharyngeal 10 vagus and 11 accessory and internal jugular vein and here we can see this is the jugular foramen and through the jugular foramen uh, we can see the glossopharyngeal vagus accessory nerve passes and this is the internal jugular vein these four are main structures some other smaller structure uh, passes but usually not uh, much more important uh, in the third picture here we can see this is the foramen spinosum and two other uh, foramen also we can see here is the foramen rotundum through the rotundum maxillary nerve passes and behind them there is foramen ovale through ovale foramen through the uh, foramen ovale mandibular nerve passes so these uh, foramen are usually very very important here is the superior orbital fissure and through the superior orbital fissure cranial nerve 3 4 5 1 1 6 passes then foramen rotundum through rotundum maxillary nerve passes and foramen ovale through it 
mandibular nerve process and here the important foramen this is the foramen spinosum and we can see here the through the foramen spinosum medial meningeal artery passes through here and nerve or nervous spinosus so from spinosum it is very very important and a uh, repetitive uh, question arises from here that through the from spinosum on important artery this is the medial meningeal artery passes and we can see here this is the from rotundum and through the foramen rotundum maxillary nerve passes and behind this this is the foramen ovale and through foramen ovale mandibular nerve passes and in case of foramen rotundum there is mnemonic then this mnemonic is a romax r o for rotundum and max for maxillary so romax that means foramen rotundum maxillary nerve passes and we also can see there is the internal carotid artery and this internal carotid artery it passes through the carotid Canal. Here we can see this is the opening of carotid canal. Here this is the opening of carotid canal, and through this opening, internal carotid artery passes. In the another picture here we can see, and we can see a red structure passes through a foramen, and this foramen is the hypoglossal canal. So this name is very very important because this foramen or this canal lies very close. To the jugular foramen and foramen magnum so there is a sense of confusion that the hypoglossal canal and the hypoglossal canal uh, through this a uh, structure passes and this structure is the hypoglossal nerve so here we can see the hypoglossal canal from here up to here and through the hypoglossal canal hypoglossal nerve this and this is the Cranial nerve 12 passes through the hypoglossal canal, and uh, we also can see the jugular foramen here. And through the jugular foramen, cranial nerve 9, 10, and 11 passes with the internal jugular vein. So, here this is uh, again the carotid canal. Here, this is the carotid canal on opening here, another opening outside. And the carotid uh, canal it lies in the temporal bone, the petrous part. So, the internal carotid artery. From the neck, it enters into the scalpel through this canal, and this canal is the carotid canal. So here, our final answer: the jugular foramen, jugular foramen, uh, and hypoglossal nerve. Uh, because hypoglossal nerve not true, because hypoglossal nerve it contains its own canal, and this is hypoglossal canal. And other part here we can see the superior orbital fissure and oculomotor nerve. Oculomotor nerve, motor nerve, it is the cranial nerve. Three and we know the superior orbital uh, fissure it passes through cranial nerve 3, 4, 5, one, and 6. Then from a rotundum maxillary nerve because we know that the uh, rotundum rho and maxillary max. So rho max this is a mnemonic. Then from a spinosum through spinosum medial meningeal artery passes and carotid canal and internal carotid artery it is also true. And for the hypoglossal nerve, the hypoglossal nerve passes through its own canal and this is hypoglossal canal but through the jugular foramen passes cranial nerve 9 10 and 11 with the internal jugular vein so our final answer this pair is not correct thank you all